Hi, entertaining universe. So today there's a lot of, there's one thing, there's one video, this is a video, I don't know what I'm saying. Let's start that afresh. The today's vlog is going to be about a piece of information about an, an actress that I've seen some of her work and I've, some of others of her other movies or TV shows or things of that nature that she's been in I have not seen. She is turning 26 today. It is her birthday, so I'm so th that's why I'm doing it today. And let's just dive into it. Uh, this is pieces of information uh, of Catherine McNamara. She is an American actress, singer, and dancer. She was born in Kansas City, Missouri. She is an only child of Ursula and Evan McNamara, who served in the U.S. military. She was raised in Lee's Summit, Missouri, and moved to Los Angeles in 2000. 11. She got her high school diploma at age 14. At 17, McNamara graduated summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration from Drexel University. In July of 2017, she said that she was enrolled in online master's degree literature at Johns Hopkins University. Um, I also said, I already said that. She has participated in anti-bullying efforts by describing how she was bullied. That's probably wrong. Describing doesn't sound right. She has been in all these m films and TV shows I've seen. She was in New Year's Eve, Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, Maze Runner, The Death Cure, Girl vs. Monster, Arrow, Supergirl, The Flash. She has won two awards and got nominated for two more. The ones she won are People Choice Awards for Female TV Star and Shadow Hunter. And TV Choice Awards for Choice TV, uh, Sci Fi slash Fantasy, Actress and Shadow Hunters. So that's just a little bit about her. There's so much more that you probably can look up that may be a little bit different than, or have more information about her than just that. I mean, like I said, she's been in other movies, she's been in other TV shows, she's, she's, she's pretty smart for who she is. Like I said, graduating high school at 14 is is pretty pretty dang impressive, to, in my opinion. And graduating from from Drexel University or any university at the age of 17 is she must be like really smart. And I mean, not a lot of people can say they've graduated high school at 14 or graduated college or university or whatever at the age of 17. But she did it, and you know that means that she's real. She's either super smart or she's you know she's smart enough to you know graduate early from high school or graduate from university at just seventeen years old. And now I have not watched Shadow Hunters before. I'm trying. There's three seasons in total. She plays Claire uh, Frey. Or Gray, excuse me, uh, Clary Gray, um, and she plays Mia Smoke in Arrow, and she's she's she just plays a lot of different characters and a, di a lot of different things, and I have four of her movies actually that I'm I'm going to watch after I finish a few things, like there's Indiscretion, there's the Scorch Trials, there's. Uh, Natural Selection, and then there was, and then New Year's Eve. She's in that movie as well, and she, like I said, she's been in other films as well, not just those ones. Um, and I don't know what else to say about her. She's just an amazing actress. She's an amazing activist for bullying because she was bullied herself. You know, she does all kinds of amazing charity work. It's just there's just so much that this person this Catherine or Cat or whatever you want to call her has done in her not only in her acting career, her activist career or her activist activism, you know, like I said, graduating high school at just the age of fourteen and graduating college at seventeen, and she could have gotten her, her uh, something else at John Hopkins, you know, all of these things, and she's an only child too, uh, which is which is. You know, I wish she had siblings. I'm not saying I would ever date her or anything like that. 
Because she's, she's a little too young for me on that. Well, maybe not. But she's an actress and she's got so many followers and so much stuff that she does that even if if I were to date her or any actress, it would be kind of hard. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm going to ever do that. I'm just saying she is so cool and amazing and awesome and that's why... That's why I'm doing these pieces of information about individuals that are amazing at their craft or at amazing at being an activist or for anti-bullying campaigns or, you know, pet campaigns or, you know, cancer campaigns, things of that nature where you're trying to get rid of all these bad things that are happening in this world. Anyways... There are other birthdays today as well. I just thought today's pieces of information should be that. So there's so that's that on pieces of information about her. So let's let's dive into birthdays and we'll go from there. I, we'll do my outro and say goodbye. So I want to wish. I also want to wish Megan uh, McCarthy a happy thirtieth birthday today, and I want to wish who else? Mark Ruffalo a happy birthday as well. So those are the three birthdays we have today. The next piece of information is going to be on no, on Thanksgiving Day. So look forward to that. And I'll keep you guys posted on everything else that's, you know, that's happening between now and then. But the next piece of information that you guys can look forward to is going to be on November 25th, which is Thanksgiving Day. And then the one after that is the 28th. Of, of this month, the 29th of this month, and the 30th of this month. And that's it for um, those in those ones. So, I'll fill you in. Oh, also, before we go, say goodbye, possibly Friday or Saturday, depending on what's going to happen, I'm going to go see the new Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, which I mentioned previously. It's got it's Kaya um, uh, Skiraldo. Skiraldio, I, I can't pronounce her last name, so I, po I apologize for butchering her last name. And there's other individuals. She plays Claire Redfield um, in this Resident Evil film. And the thing is, after I'm done watching, finished watching Justice League, Zack Snyder, Director's Cut, I'm going to watch Emma. And then after Emma, I'm going to watch all the Catherine McNamara films. Then after that, I'm going to watch all the Resident Evil films with Milo Djokovic, 1 to 6. And then after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just start a, um, start the Two of Fever book. I don't know really what's going to happen with that. So, I will see you tomorrow with the brand spanking new vlog, and ciao. Bye-bye.